performing in Iceland of Monsters and Men. Joining us from there now. Hi, it's so nice to see you virtually or otherwise. How are you? Nana, Raggy, hello. Hi. Hi very good. good. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Um, good, you know, good. Weird good, but good. Good, good. Yeah. This new, <laughs> right? This new single visitor um, is dramatic and it's beautiful. And what I want to know is the origins. Did it come from um, the sessions from Fever Dream? Did it come from somewhere else or is it, you know, new from, you know, since we've been in lockdown? Yeah, it's a song that we, it's been around for a minute. Um, yeah. And when we were making Fever Dream, it was one of the songs that we were working on then. But, you know, sometimes with songs, they just, they need a moment to like become what they need to become. And it was never really clicking when we were making the album. So we just decided to rest it. Yeah. And then kind of as soon as we started to, because we, we got some months of touring before the pandemic hit. So, you know, we were touring and we weren't focusing on, you know, making an album. And then the song just because there was no pressure around it it was just you know yeah it just you know we went on a on a little writing trip to upstate new york yeah and uh, the the last part the outro part of the song we came there and then kind of clicked and uh, we, we, when we came home from touring we just decided to record it yeah we were you know we felt excited about it again yes so uh and that's kind of how it, how, it, how it came about like coffee it needed to percolate or like um like like dough it needed to rise it just needed a little bit of a little bit of time yeah. yeah and sometimes when you're making an album you know like you you are in a time there's a time limit and so when you're squeezing things into that time limit sometimes it just doesn't work um and we've had a hard time when we were when we just tried to force it so sometimes it's good to you know yeah, yeah have it come naturally yes i love that now how did you squeeze in the video for Visitor? Because you're performing in front of people. Did that happen before the pandemic hit? Yeah, yeah. that was like, um, um, there, were, there were like news coming while we were recording the video uh, about like, you know, possibly shutting down the country and stuff like that. So it was definitely before, before that happened. Yeah, so yeah. we were very much in a, in a the before times mode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but um, but it was great because yeah, it, it when you look back on it, it's it is kind of we haven't performed in front of people like this since since then. Yeah, really, a apart from like doing an online show. So yeah, it is it is kind of strange, I think, for people to also see it now. Now that we release it, and it's like a new song. Like wait a minute. Yeah, that doesn't feel right. There's people there. <laughs> <laughs> it does make you appreciate that live experience that much more though so it's sort of a beautiful gift at this time too yeah that's that's good that's good there's a family member in the video whose family member is in the video tell me about that oh yeah my my mom is there uh she's like a tiny version of me who's old <laughs> <laughs> but then uh then we have like a bunch of the extras are like our friends and yeah and um were there some other family members no, it's just your yeah, mom. just my mom. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, we got some you know people we knew. She be... stayed like because we were filming until like five o'clock in the morning, and she, I think she was one of the last people to leave. She yes. just they were like sending like I oh, can all go home. She's like no. <laughs> I want to be there, and then she forgot her glasses and everything. That's <laughs> so <laughs> cute. <laughs> I love that. I love that unwavering family support. That's that's like exactly how family should be. It's that's it's cool. that's so cool. There's more than just the two of you in the band, obviously. With the band so big, is it hard to do social distancing? Is that a thing there? Obviously, here it's six feet apart. I assume it's meters over there. What's what's that situation like? It's um, yeah, two meters here. Two meters. We've gone like back and forth with one meter and two meters, and now Iceland is in a pretty. Uh, we have a lot of uh, cases, cases right now. Cases right now, so. <clears throat> It was really good, like a couple of weeks back. So now we're back to two meters and just everyone wears masks and, and you know, we just try to keep everything sanitized and uh, masks on everyone. Yeah, everyone. and when it, you know, if, if it is really bad, we're not meeting up in the studio, really. Yeah. Um, but, 
Yeah. yeah then we're all just kind of working from home and sending mm -hmm. stuff similar to what we're doing here. So uh, we we try to adapt with you know what what the you know government in Iceland has has to offer us. Yeah. <laughs> when you're working with each other over Zoom like this, do you feel like is there something missing in the chemistry, or have you found that there's a groove that it that it's working for you? Well, we we've, we've never worked over Zoom. Oh, you like, haven't. No. No, but like we've been, you know, we will maybe, you know, sometimes maybe Raki has a, you know, is playing at home. Uh, you know, he's like doing some piano and there's a line there and he might send it to me. And yeah, then we just kind of send you know, recordings, you know, in between us. And, and in the end, we have something like we just kind of add something to it and then, you know, collect them over Dropbox and and kind of work like that. Yeah. And then we meet up and we're playing it together. And yeah. Stuff. Mm -hmm. So it kind of it works fine. Is that a new way of doing things for you or pre-pandemic? Were you sharing music in the same way when you were apart? I was in Denmark a lot during the last album, uh, during the writing of the last album. So we did a f fair bit of that then, yeah. and so we were kind of accustomed to it, which was nice. Yeah. So it it doesn't it doesn't feel too un unfamiliar to us, but it's it served it's, you well, yeah. Yeah, but like when someone like when you can't be together and someone like you know it, because we can't do it, then you really want to do it. So uh, you know it uh, you appreciate it, what, what, you know playing yeah. together. When you're not allowed to yeah, do it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So is Visitor a one-off or is it leading into something else? Um, it's definitely leading into something else. We'll have some more stuff uh, in the beginning of next year. Yeah. 2021. <laughs> that start. <laughs> we sure hope so, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what we're going for. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.